feed the stray cats. You can see all the food. I just keep it under a van. Should fill it up. Still some snow. It snowed yesterday a little bit. Hey guys, this is Brenda from my Bee Bee Burns Cradle and here is Rebecca, Rebecca Jordan and she is wearing her fall outfit. She has on a um, black and white plaid dress, very pretty and she's wearing her denim jean jacket which is so cute and she has in her hair a beautiful uh, bow pink and white um, hairband looks like a giant uh, flower with there's a pearl in the center and there's elaborate um, lace and a giant bow and silver diamond looking accessory in there <laughs> I'm not thinking very well but Rebecca is so pretty she's got snowflake earrings in her ear so so pretty hey rebecca you're so pretty and your hair is oh my goodness it's like i don't even know what kind of hair this is but it's like so human like she has out of all the dolls i own she definitely has the most beautiful hair so i'm here today to do shelly's fall tag and i will give her a card um showing her a card of her link of her original tag and um yeah it sounds like really fun so i did write them down and i'll just grab over here so there are eight questions and excuse my printing i just did it really fast but the fall tag yes and she said uh shelly said that it's taken from Diane, and I don't know how to say that. But um, Shelly changed it up a bit. <laughs> so Shelly put her own tweak onto it, and it sounds really fun to do. So yeah, but Shelly originally got the idea from um, non-reborn channel Diana. I don't know who Diana is, but I know Shelly. <laughs> so there are eight questions. So, number one, what is my favorite fall activity? Well, definitely hiking through the woods. Um, the sound of the leaves, the smells, um, the crisp air, no bugs. <laughs> love that. I love that my face does not melt. Because <laughs> in the summer it gets so hot. Um, I know I'm up in Canada, but we are used to... Um, easily, easily we have temperatures ranging from 
like minus 42 all the way to plus 42. That's in Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but I will, I will put it somewhere around here, um, showing what the conversion is. But uh, yeah, so and in the summer it gets really, really warm, really hot for me. So I'm, I need shade in the summer. I definitely need shade. <laughs> in the fall, I don't, it's just lovely, it's beautiful, the temperatures are um, perfect. <laughs> Speaking of temperature, it is right at the moment, it's minus 3 degrees Celsius and in the house is plus 20, which is 27 degrees Fahrenheit and 68 in the house. So to me, the temperature is actually very nice. Um, I went outside already. Of course, if you're dressed for the weather, it's just wonderful. And uh, breathing the air is nice. I don't like breathing in really hot and humid air. Ugh. But uh, the crisp air is really, really nice. I love it. Um, it's not my perfect temperature. My perfect temperature would be about 15 degrees Celsius. That's um, probably around like in the 40s for Fahrenheit. I'm not sure. But anyways, right now it's minus three is right. Um, so that is my favorite fall activity is just walking around hiking in the beautiful woods, the beautiful colors, the beautiful sounds, and no bugs. <laughs> so number two, what is my favorite fall drink? Well, like Shelly, I do like coffee. I like different flavors of coffee. Um, hot chocolate as well. So if you combine those two, coffee plus hot chocolate, you get a cafe mocha. And I love cafe mochas all year round, um, but especially with a little treat if you put Cool Whip on top and sprinkle of chocolate. Oh, so good. <laughs> but yes, um, I do enjoy the caramel or caramel, whatever, we say caramel, but um, caramel flavors, and they are lovely too. Butterscotch, mmm, butterscotch, those are so good. Okay, now I want butterscotch. <laughs> um, what is your favorite fall candle or scent? Well, guys, I have lots. So here are one of my Scentsy warmers. We love camping, and um, so that's the warmer that I have. I normally change it out, but actually I've been liking it all year round. So I have that warmer out, um, and I'm burning, or not burning, sorry, I'm warming what's called a, I'll cover the consultant's name, but Pink Haze. It's so, so, uh, the person on here is, but yeah, it smells so good. It's a sweet, sugary, pink, uh, scent, so it's really, really, really nice. Um, it smells so pretty. It's a bit lighter and not so... Like, you know, fall scents are normally on the heavier side. Um, like, this one here is a fall scent. It's called Mocha Doodle. And it smells a lot like a cafe mocha. So it's a coffee smell. And it's really warm and really delicious. And I, I enjoy this. It's not my favorite, but I do enjoy it a lot. Wow. How can I pick? Oh. These are kind of all my favorite Scentsy warmer scents. These are scented wax, and you melt them down on a warmer. So all it is is a bulb. Well, this warmer. I have other bulbs or other warmers that don't have a bulb. It's just an element. But um, I like how the light peeks out. It's so pretty. But these are my favorite fall warmer scents. There's one called Serene Green. It's kind of like an apple. Uh, Simply Apricot. Simply Strawberry. Mocha Doodle. Cherry Vanilla. Uh, sweet Pea and Vanilla. A Sunkissed Citrus. 
Newborn nursery, of course, I like that all year round, though. That smells just like baby powder. Um, Mellow Moment, which smells a lot like, um, let's see. Ah. Oh, yes. It's like um, an or like a clean, crisp, almost like a laundry, but a warm laundry. Um, this is Sunny and Cher, which is citrusy, I guess, but a warm citrusy. Cherry almond pie. Sugar. Oh, this smells so delicious. Like a, a sugar cookie, but not as strong as the cookie part. Let me just check. Mmm, never mind. It does smell like a sugar cookie. But a sweet one. A sweeter warm one. A Mediterranean Spa. This smells like a, but it's warmer. It's a warmer scent of like a clean, like a spa, you know. Oh, so hard to describe. Bananarama, much like banana bread. Simply vanilla, which is really yummy. So these are my favorite uh, scented waxes. So... But I also have candles, and I'll move over here. I brought them out. <sighs> oh, th this is a pile that I'm going to give my dad because um, apples and pears is really nice. My dad would love that. Revved up raspberry. He loves raspberries. This is called a Zen garden. It's more of a, um, oh, he only needs one, not two of them. Because I'm not even sure if I like this scent. Um, key lime tortilla. And this is his favorite scent everywhere. is lilacs and violets. So I'm giving him all of the ones that I own left. Well, that are brand new. I have one that's opened. So I'll, I told my dad that I would share... Uh, some of my bars with him and I'll give him a warmer because he doesn't own any but I have some I have lots of extras but these are my scented candles and these are my fall scents I have some for summer spring fall and winter well this this one is close to a Christmas scent Christmas pine and I normally like to warm it like closer to winter but excuse me <clears throat> but it's still one of my favorites i love it christmas pine it smells like a christmas tree so perfectly and these are all by avon by the way they're much like the bath and body work they're just the same size but they're by avon and they also have three wicks on them and their scent smells very high quality as well but um, the reason why I have so many is because I used to be a consultant. I used to sell this, so of course I'd have a discount. And I used to sell Scentsy, so I also had a discount on those. So, Because some people, uh, I used to have some comments, Wow, you own so many. It must be nice to have made a, like, you know, kind of thing. But I used to sell it, so I got great deals on these things. So, but... Um, this one is called a white sandalwood, and let's see, oh, obviously it's one of my beer favorites. Oh, yes, it smells exactly what it says, a white sandalwood, it, it, so hard to describe. It smells like you're at the lake and at the water, but yet there's, um, um, like you know, like you know how how some wood smells has a scent to it, like uh, redwood. I think I forget which tree smells so yummy. I can't remember if it's cedar or the redwood. I think it's redwood, but this sandalwood smells so good, so pretty, like a tree. Oh, nice tree smell. <sighs> Hard to describe. <laughs> this one here is a strawberry whipped cream. It just, it's a delicious, obviously, um, I didn't use it that much. 
But yeah, it smells like strawberry shortcake. It smells so good. This one here is called a lakeside cabin. And it smells exactly like you're at the lake, but it's raining. With the, See those fall trees? Oh, so, so good. Oh, smells so nice. Ah, I think I want to burn this one after. Oh, the warmer. This one is another favorite. It's Fireside. It does. It smells just like um, a fire. But a clean fire. A clean, like, you know that white part? Yeah, it smells so good. Fireside. It smells really pretty. Uh, this one here is a dark roast. Like a coffee smell. I don't think I used this yet. No, I didn't. Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> it smells exactly like a coffee house. Oh, I think it's. Mmm. Mmm. Why didn't I do that one before? This one is a By the Bonfire, which is another fire scent, but with, see that marshmallow right there? Like roasted marshmallows as well. I also love this scent. Mmm, just exactly like a fire, but with marshmallows. It's so crazy how they get these scents. How they bring out the scent of that. This says peppermint coca. Which is like a hot chocolate with peppermint and marshmallows. Yeah, I never used. Well, I burnt one already. This is my second one. Mmm, I love it. This one is more for Christmas around Christmas too. But I love it in the fall as well. Because if you're aware, our fall in Canada is very short. And our winter will be here before we know it. So, yeah. Uh, this is a buttercream, which is yummy. Mmm, mmm, it smells just like buttercream. Oh my goodness. Like, like, you know, like a frosting, but a buttercream frosting. A vanilla buttercream frosting. Oh, mmm, 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 yummy. So these are my scented candles. So yeah, I love them all. Okay, number four, my favorite fall accessory. Well, you've seen me wear this before. This is my favorite sweater to wear. I also have this favorite sweater to wear. It's a navy blue sweater, but it's shorter. It's not as long as this one. This one just comes down around the butt. This one just comes way down. <laughs> Like to the upper thighs or to the to the mid thighs. Um, this one, however, has a winged sleeve on it. Let's see if I could if I could try and get it out. It has a really winged, like not the not the top, but near the near your body. It has this big giant winged, kind of like you know um, a robe kind of thing. I don't know, it was really super warm. I love it. It has a huge color on it as well. It looks nice. And I bought both of these from Avon in the past. Um, these I love wearing in the fall and winter. These are moccasins. And I've owned them since like, I think 1989. So these are like really old. I think they're just finally starting to wear out. But these are the authentic... Uh, moccasins that you can buy up here from the um, natives and uh, they're real uh, yeah so sorry if it offends people but up here where I'm from the aboriginals um, they do hunt and they do use everything from the animal and they make these out of the skin and um, use the fur so I know there's a lot of people out there that um, don't like this sort of thing but they do they use everything in the animal they eat the meat they use the meat that humans don't eat for their animals and to eat like dogs 
but they eat some of the meat. Everything is used, the bones, everything. So, um, but they also make moccasins. So this, these are finally starting to wear down quite a lot. So, um, I I can't really afford new ones. They're very expensive. I received these as a gift many years ago. And I know how expensive they are. You could buy, like, um, the fake, like, fake fur ones and stuff like that. But, um, that are a lot less inexpensive. But these are the authentic. And that's why they lasted so long all these years. So, yeah. But anyways, these are my favorite fall accessories. Oh, my feet stay so warm in these. I love them. Um, another fall accessory for outside are scarves that I wear with. Uh, these two are my favorite. I have lots, but these two I tend to come to a lot. And this is a blue one. Um, dark blue with light blue. And there's paisleys on here. Paisley to decorate with orange and uh, let's see if I white stripes and I don't know this blue looks good on me. I get compliments when I wear this color against um, up along my along my face. So I like this. Uh, but this one I wore a lot of last year. Um, I like this one best because it's just one long, like, one big giant circle. It's like those, called those infinity, um, scarves. But it's really long, really thick and really long. And this color also looks good on me. So, um, this one I get compliments more on. But this one is just so easy. I don't have to tie it or nothing. I just put it around my neck and wrap it up, like, couple of times and boom done this one I have to kind of fuss with a bit more because it's just like a big one long like real scarf so sorry but yeah this one in is really huge so I can do different styles with this so yeah those are my accessories and I love these gloves these are fall definitely not winter I don't get to wear them very much because, like I said, our fall is very quick. Um, it'll come and go before winter will be here, probably next month. <laughs> so, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, yeah, they they look like this. They're, I like the style of them. I get compliments on them. Um, I can still use my phone easily. So, and, yep. Yeah, my ha this part might be cold, but my fingers I feel like driving with them. But yeah, I love I love these. Oh, another wait, they're hot. <laughs> my hand is getting hot in this. Um, as you know, this was my fall purse that I've decided that I want to use. Um, but this is. This is one I've been using. This is my absolute favorite, and you could tell because the the bands are wearing down a lot. This is my absolute favorite. I love this little. It's just a little uh, sa satchel, but I get tons of compliments on this. I know I love your bag, so and I do too. It's a huge favorite. But inside is um, also. Some of my fall gloves that I love. Um, it's my favorite gloves. So I do have lots of gloves everywhere. But and what else do I have in here? Oh, these are some mitts, little gloved ones. Here's my favorite coin, change coin for this bag particularly. And oh, this is a hand sanitizer. So. And it's probably vanilla because it's a nice fall scent. I like that. The vanilla lotion and the, even though we're not allowed scents at school, but yeah, I knew it. This is because this is my favorite fall. And this one feels almost empty. But this is a vanilla hand sanitizer, like antibacterial hand gel by Avon and it comes in this cool pouch 
so I can refill it if I want. So what else is in here? I guess that's about it. Oh, oh <laughs> I remember buying this. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I want it. It's a pen. <laughs> it's an ice cream pen. So, yeah, that's all. And it has little pockets in there. Pocket here. So, yeah, this is definitely my fault. I do like changing out my purses. So, what's next? So, those are my favorite fall accessories. Um, number five. Haunted house, hayride, or corn maze. I've never been to a corn maze. I've always wanted to. So, I still have yet to go to a corn maze. I would love to. Uh, no one around here does that sort of thing. So, I wish. Same with a hayride. Um... We do have farms around here, but I live in a very small community, and the nearest city is like six hours away from here by highway. So, um, and the nearest, I don't know, I think I've been on a hayride in Ontario with my family as a young kid, but here in Manitoba, where I live up north, um, I don't think they do that. I'm not sure. I think in the in the uh, winter, they have a uh, skidoo here, right? <laughs> that was funny. Haunted house. I used to love those when I was a kid, but kind of because sometimes I didn't like the jump scares. So, uh, but I do enjoy the haunted house. Um, not so much anymore now that I'm older. I would love to go on a hayride, and I would love to go in a corn maze. Wow. So, yeah. Number six. Favorite Halloween candy. Well, I love the chocolates. Definitely the chocolates. But my favorite actual candy, candy, would, like, I know, I think the Americans say candy bar. But we don't call them candy bars. We call them chocolate bars. But, um, um, so, but real candy, like the sugar and candy, I love are what's called rockets and um, we call them rockets but I think the Americans have the same sort of thing Smarties because um, our Smarties are actual like M&M's or um, actually I'll show you a picture of it so just a sec so yeah my favorite are the rockets um, number seven, favorite thing about fall? Well, definitely the no bugs, and that's cooler. I love those two things the most. <laughs> I love the leaves, the sound of the crunchy leaves. Um, I love the smells. I love the cool temperatures. Um, and I love Halloween coming. Uh, we are huge on Halloween. We love it. The scary movies, especially the ones from the 70s and 80s, the classics. Yeah, they are so cool. We love it. Um, so, and the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns, turning them into jack-o'-lanterns. So, yeah, we have our Thanksgiving in October. So, we don't have... I've heard a lot of Americans say that it's so busy in November because... Or, yeah, November because you have your Thanksgiving and then Christmas around the corner and all that stuff. But for us, I've never experienced that. We've always had Thanksgiving in early October. And then we have Remembrance Day, Remembrance Day, what did I say? Remembrance Day in like a Veterans Day in um, November. And then we have Christmas. So we have that huge break in between the holidays. So for us, it's just, it's relaxing all the time. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, but we don't have the holidays back to back like like how the Americans have it. So, um, um, favorite thing about fall for us Canadians is that our, I am thankful that our Thanksgiving is in October. So, yeah. Um, that way we can deal with the holidays one at a time and not feel overwhelmed with all these holidays back to back. 
wow, that's, when I first learned about that, I'm like, wow, I, I never really thought about the hustle and bustle of all of this going on so close to each other, wow, because I've never experienced that. So, um, but number eight, the favorite fall meal. I love when I'm able to use my oven again because we don't have air conditioning. Um, I make homemade pizza quite a lot. I do everything, my own dough, my own sauce. Um, I buy the toppings though and the cheese I buy, of course. But um, we, my family loves my homemade pizza and lasagna and... Um, um, we also love what's called my favorite fall meal as a kid and even now is, um, chicken, Italian shake and bake chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy, a chicken gravy, a homemade chicken gravy and corn and, um, what's called biscuits and gravy now are, a lot of people, a lot of people that I say I love biscuits and gravy, they're like, what? Because <laughs> it's not like an actual biscuit. It's soda biscuits. Those crackers. Okay. Um. So this is my favorite shake and bake. It's so easy to make and so delicious. Crispy Italian. Use it in the oven. So good. Um, we had this around when I was a kid as well. And still love it. Now this biscuits and gravy that I'm talking about. These are the crackers that... These kind of biscuits, they're premium plus crackers, they call them crackers, but we call them soda biscuits, and how come they don't refer them to that as, anymore? They're soda biscuits. They don't call them soda biscuits anymore, they call them crackers. I don't know, I, my family calls these soda biscuits. What do you guys call them? <laughs> We call them soda biscuits, but these crackers, oh, these soaked in chicken gravy are so delicious. My family loves them. It's from, um, yeah, well, I'll soak this whole package in gravy and, and then once they're all soft and soggy, eat them with salt and pepper. Oh, so good. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, these biscuits. And gravy oh so good um that's the thing though a lot of people around here like even up where I'm from in Manitoba they don't they don't know what I'm talking about biscuits and gravy they need, never done this so I don't know if it's from my family's from South Ontario which is very close to the border of the US so I don't know if it's from their culture or whose culture it's from I don't know but I've always had this when I was a kid and I still serve it to my kids and my kids love it but this we call it biscuits and gravy and it's so delicious <laughs> mm. and then um when I was a kid uh we never had stove top dressing but now that I've discovered it it's just dressing in a box by stove top um, I should have some. Let me check. Yeah, so this stuff, the stovetop turkey. Um, I bought chicken before and I've tried the turkey and our family tends to like the turkey one better than the chicken. So even if we're eating chicken, we still like the turkey one. But I think it's softer. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference, but we like the turkey one, but... When I was a kid, our family never had this. My mom used to make her own real dressing, and I never liked it. But I love this stuff. Stuff top. So we'll have the shake and bake chicken. Shake and bake chicken with mashed potatoes gravy. The homemade gravy. Um, biscuits and gravy. Corn and that stove top dressing and cheese. Uh, sliced cheese. Sliced cheese as a side. Mmm. So good. Here's Rebecca again. Um, so yeah, and of course we make I make homemade soups and chilies and um, beef stew, all the comfort foods we really like. Um, I like making for desserts, hot fudge pudding dessert is our favorite. Mm -mm -mm. And apple crisp. Mm -mm. 
So anyways, <laughs> I'm getting hungry now for lunch. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope that you're having a great day. And Shelly, this tag was really fun. Uh, I know I had a really long, long, long answer, but I have lots to show you guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And say bye to Rebecca. Bye, bye Rebecca. She is going to have a fun day today. So hope that you guys are having a great day. Again, thank you for watching. And until next time, bye guys. Match hand. Match it. Bye guys.